Go. Okay, this is an oxygen safety demo. Um, if you get hold of this video, please do not try and replicate it. Thank you very much. Uh, we breathe oxygen in and we breathe it out as well. Um, to demonstrate this, take one cigarette. That's full of oxygen. Herbal cigarette, I might mention. As you can see, there is oxygen in my exhaled breath. Thank you. Goes in a bucket of water. Okay. Oxygen is wonderful stuff, but uh, if there are two things it doesn't get on with. Things that are slightly smouldering, and things that will burn, given a little encouragement. Demonstrate the former. I have one jar of oxygen. and a piece of toilet paper. Blow it out. And it relights. If you fail to ensure that someone you rescue from a burning building is out before administering oxygen to them, things can get a trifle embarrassing. It's not just paper that burns. Can I have the steel wall, please? Anything that's vaguely flammable in the presence of oxygen, just a, just a little bit. Given the opportunity, will burn, including, as you're about to find out, steel wool. Now, inside an oxygen cylinder, the oxygen is held at a pressure of approximately 15 mega pascals. The regulator valve is approximate, uh, contains approximately the same volume of oxygen as a tin can. Could I have the tin can, please? And I've taken the liberty of filling this tin can with pure oxygen a little earlier. You do not, under any circumstances, lubricate oxygen apparatus. Have WD-40, please. There's a small hole inside of the can. I'll add a tiny squirt of WD-40. Can I have the wick, please? Where's the red arm? Please stand back. If that happened at a pressure of 15 megapascals inside the regulator of your oxygen cylinder, the result would be catastrophic. Thank you. Hey, very good. Very good. Yeah. Now can I